What's up guys, what's good? I am Joe, you're watching Amatsu Excel, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Elgato face cam. I'm gonna talk about why this camera is by far the top competitor to beat compared to something like a used GoPro and a cam link. I might also throw in another device in there. So without waiting any further, let's just get into the details, all right? Let's go. So really quick, I got the box here, but I'm actually recording this video from the face cam itself. Now, if that doesn't tell you anything compared to some of my other videos, then you're gonna see a little bit of difference in quality versus something that I would use like my Nikon Z6, but it does work really well out the box. I did a little bit of tuning. So if you go to other videos that people have posted, they've done like where they pull it out the box and then they learn how to tune it. Um, the one thing that really sets us apart from competitors is the fact that you have that ability to retune the camera just a little bit. And I will show you why that's so important because it's built with a Sony CMOS sensor. So it's like a mirrorless camera already. And it actually gets a lot of good colors out of the box. Even just in this kind of recording, like if I had no other camera to record with, this is really good in quality. I know I could get like an app and I could, you know, try to you, fake a bokeh to um, blur out the background, but even just as is, you know, it has a good depth of field of where to record and it doesn't really give you that fish eye like other webcams. Um, so it really does just kind of hit the mark for something like for streaming or for um, small vlogging makeup stuff. Like even if I had like a ring light right here, I could set this up between a ring light and if you know for those who are doing like makeup content it works perfect now a couple quick things if you ever look at it it does not have a microphone so this is definitely not the webcam like the one stop shop for streaming because you need some kind of microphone to record your audio so like right now i have the elgato wave 3 and i'm using that to record the audio normally when i do my videos i'm using my nikon z6 and have that set up with a full-on shotgun mic so i could get that clean audio but so this is a little bit different setup. This is something I would use for like a live stream or like a teaching or anything like that. I really wanted to see how this compares to my GoPro. I was actually, before this came out, I was in the market looking at other different camera options because I would want to, I've been wanting to have a second camera from, for going live. I had a GoPro, I hooked it up to a camera like in a different other, you know, different like multiple like capture devices. But the problem I kept having was in indoor lighting. The lighting is just not as good on a GoPro. Um, they're really meant for outdoors. And so I was looking at like a used iPhone where I could run like Epoch camera, NDI, even looking at like a, buying an old used like A5100, just something cheap to get the job done. Then Elgato came out with their announcement. And honestly, I was sold the minute they dropped it because for me, I had to get my hands on it and test it. And you could tell right now just by the quality, I think this may be my primary driver for a lot of my streams versus like my DSLR so I don't like kill the sensor or the battery. This is the face cam from Elgato. So you can see there's a couple different things. I try to match the tones as much as I could with the DSLR and the cam link, but the face cam doesn't get that same bokeh effect. And I actually have to have the face cam a little bit closer to me to match the same um, focal length from the DSLR. So now here is the DSLR. Um, you can see because of more professional, the bigger glass, the bigger sensor, I'm able to get a lot more bokeh and blur out the background. The height, obviously, because the cameras are placed in different positions. And hopefully the camera is focused on me. Um, but you can really see the difference between the two from working with the DSLR versus working with the face cam. Honestly, besides the, the bokeh effect or that background blur, they pretty much kind of hit spot on. Now, the camera itself has um, right now it's ISO I believe 800 and it's at a 4.5 aperture but because of the distance of for me the subject in the background and the bigger sensor it's able to get a lot more of that bokeh effect versus the face cam you get about the same kind of colors the same kind of look the sharpness almost but you just don't get that same background the face cam itself is like a 2.8 bokeh but it's a fixed focal length and it's a smaller sensor so that uh 2.8 aperture in this does allow more light in but it, you're not getting that same amount of bokeh effect that you would with the dslr so there's definitely some differences where even though it's the, the elgato face cam is ranked at a or is given a 2.8 aperture versus the 4.5 in dslr 
it's just the size of the sensor and just the build between the lenses where you don't get that same effect. And that's where like I could focus specifically on me versus this is more focused on everything. If you're looking between these two videos, there is no real like, there's not that much of a difference. So now let's say the cost to use a DSLR. Now I first bought this camera at like $500. I think nowadays you can still find it used for like the stock lens and the body itself. And you'd have to kind of rig it to run continuous because otherwise you have a 30 minute time limit. This is about $500. But for that same price, you could buy a Sony A5100 or, or a Sony A6000. They get that clean HDMI out on potentially unlimited time, or I think it's a 30 minute, I, don't, I think it's unlimited time. So you're looking at about $500 plus another 100, 120 for that cam link. So you're already looking at possibly what, like 620? Yeah, about $620 for this look but you can spend 199 and get the very similar look with the face cam from elgato now they were smart to make this because it hits like it's budgeted well that is an expensive webcam yeah it is but it hits well compared to what costs almost double the price i could pull out my z6 which is about you know, lens and camera combined, it's about 2,500. And it'll do phenomenal with the cam link. But to spend $200 versus almost six, $700, depending on new or used, for someone who's starting out, there's a huge price difference. But the quality is relatively similar. It takes a little bit of tweaking, but you could do it easily. And so you tell me, do you think it's worth it? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know. Now, what about our GoPro? How does our GoPro handle in this kind of scenario? This is the GoPro at a maximum of a 400 ISO. And so you can see how it looks compared to that of the face cam. Now I can tell you right now off the bat, the biggest differences I see are the noise. Look at the noise with the background from the face cam versus the background of the GoPro. Those are definitely two. Now sharpness wise, I mean, it's okay versus this. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, you could tell it's not meant for indoors with this lighting. Like you get a lot of that noise. And I think that's really for me, what kind of irks the hell out of me. It has good colors, everything like that. Like I could turn up the brightness. Yes. But now like this is uh, super bright compared to like right now, but it works, but I'm like having to like blind my eyes completely versus like no light. Versus no light. Now, I fixed the issues with the GoPro. I have the GoPro connected to a cam link. So if you, let's say you buy a used GoPro for like a hundred and you're spending another hundred on that cam link, you, it's about comparable between the two. So here's the face cam. And here is how it looks with the cam link. Now again, your sacrifice at 1080p 30 frames a second, but it's a difference that, you know, it's marginal per se but you don't have the same controls for as for zoom um, placement wise, you have, a little, you have a much smaller sensor. So you're gonna gain more noise for your surroundings versus here. Here's a comparison of the GoPro versus the Elgato face cam. And you actually see side by side, the difference between the two, just between like how I'm moving my hand, you can see the difference between a 60 frames per second versus a 30 frames per second. Um, you can also see the color wise, um, settings and stuff like that. Like I could play with the contrast and things like that between the GoPro, which is more of a flat profile versus the tune settings and the face cam. So now you really got a chance to see just how the Elgato face cam really works against that of like a GoPro versus uh, actual DSLR. And I think that a lot of people are going to want to eventually get the face cam from Elgato as a primary source versus trying to put stuff together. Now, future proofing wise, it makes sense to get a cam link because it will sustain for you, uh, sustain future terms because you can eventually hook it up to like a higher end camera when you're at that level. Versus if you're really as like an amateur or hobbyist and you're really just kind of getting it because you want something and don't have to worry about upgrading in the future, then the face cam is definitely for you. But if you're looking for something for like long-term growth, like I said, you could easily, um, even just you're still cheaper buying that later on than just buying this. 
And that's going to wrap it up for us today. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. It helps me pop up more in algorithm and people can, who are also searching for videos like this, will be able to find it easier. Um, if you do like my content, please subscribe. Um, you'll always be alerted when I drop new videos. If you have questions about anything that went over today, leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, I'm Joe and you guys were watching Matsu XL. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.